silent trade back again um this is one of the trades that i've shown you in the first video so let's take a look at uh, new zealand dollar jpy see what's happening as you can possibly see it has made a sharp move and it's still moving upwards let's go back and check uh, usd jpy it has also made a sharp move uh, as i said in the first video this is a combination of two um our zone as you can see in the black showing support and our moving average down uh, giving us confidence in our entries so these trades are based on entry confidence so let's take a let's take a look at uh, you know usd so in keep on making um practice uh all the time you'll find yourself in a perfect uh, trading uh, sessions that are always uh, are so powerful just as you can see now because always your mind is on trades so you make good decisions as well so always make good decisions um i've made already a, a video on this uh on our support and resistance zones as you can see this was a sale uh, we have a sell we have a buy here this is a buy zone with our support zone earlier in brack so it's support and resistance i use them so much uh, to give me a clear view of what i'm heading into and i think that's what you should always do as well um don't rely so much on moving average alone but you should try to emphasize some technical analysis a little bit of it um if possible you can make a more more trading view and so i'll i'll drop a video showing you trading view strategies as well very soon so for now i'm out i'm out for now until the next video